Moving on to Cher from Up in the Air. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> see her. See her. As see her. As Carrot Top says. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, big news this week for MGM. They are saying that Cher is returning to the new Park Theater. Last week, uh, John Katzlamides from the Review Journal, a column called Cats, and I were talking about Bruno Mars and Stevie Nicks, and now they've added Cher to the Cher, mix. Cher, that's right. And she's coming in uh, for a total of 18 dates beginning in uh, February, February 8th. Okay. And it's the only place in uh, in anywhere mm -hmm. you can see Cher. Wow. Is at the Park Theater. And those are, there's some other dates in May and then more to be announced. I know. That's pretty cool. Now, a lot of people are going, well, I thought she did her farewell tour like years ago, but she's in back 2002, again. <laughs> we're going to have an anniversary of the farewell tour, the farewell tour revisited. But, you know, it's Cher. She can get away with it. Exactly. You know. she's, had a, she's had a long history here. You know, as I wrote, she uh, has had recorded two live albums with Sonny mm -hmm. had. In 1971 and 1974, from the Sahara Hotel, and the wow. second of those albums was a double album, early in their career. So they've had a long, and she's had a long history here. She's played the MGM Grand many times on the Farewell Tour, as, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, and she was at the Coliseum from uh, uh, 2008 to 2011 with one of those residencies. Yeah, and uh, it was a lot of, uh, it was a parade of costume it changes. It was a lot. There were a I'm lot of you, costume changes. There were a lot show. of costume changes. Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. was 13. fun. But you had to kind of wait in the middle a little bit. Yeah, well, it was part of the part of the production, but um, yeah, she's back, and she's very uh, a lot of Vegas history, a lot of history history in general and she is 70, 70, wow. yeah, and still kicking it, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's interesting because I saw that she commented in the press release saying this is going to be her best show ever. So it kind of seems like <laughs> she wants that fair, she, maybe she wasn't happy with the past ones. Maybe you're going to talk to her tonight, Well, I'm right? go, you know, I was supposed to talk to her last night, but we couldn't connect. She did a whole day of media yesterday. I was at, at uh, the MGM Grand for this mm -hmm. Washington Post thing. We couldn't connect, but we're going to talk Thursday. And one thing I want to ask her about is her experience at the Coliseum because mm -hmm. she was critical of her audiences at the Coliseum. Right. As you I know, a lot that. of us remember that. Uh, wasn't too happy with some of the way that played out. It, the, the Coliseum is a lot of things, but it's not generally a party zone. Mm -mm. And share shows, you want to get in there and, and yeah. kick it up. So I want to ask her about that and, and what she would change uh, from those shows. But, um, you know, they were looking at the, the park of, uh, theater officials have been looking at the Coliseum mm. expressly as the model for what they want to do. And they have taken one of the actual headliners and brought them over. So they're serious about this. All right, you've been busy. Uh, we've got about 45 seconds. Uh, talking to, and be behind the scenes of the Thomas and Mac and mm -hmm. UNLV having the debate tonight everyone's talking about it you yes. got some interesting information didn't you yes yeah, from uh, from clinton to share from you know from sunny and share to, to trump yeah. and clinton i mean it's <laughs> we're going to see a, a, a las vegas is going to be the center of the universe once again in a way that it has never been before uh, politically uh, this is the biggest day politically in the state's history um we're gonna have about 900 to a thousand people inside the hall and rossi growland cotter from the lvcva said it's worth about 90 to 100 million dollars in in, rev, in free media exposure wow. to our region to have this here that's how big it is. It's a big, big deal. The audience might be as big, the viewing audience might be as big as a Super Bowl for I this mean, tonight. Unreal, isn't it? It's, it's staggering. It's Even for, by our standards, it's staggering. Yeah, we were saying like 7,000 journalists in town for yes. this. So it's a mm -hmm. big deal. Yep. All right, that is tonight. We are going to have full coverage. I'm sure you'll have coverage as well. You can check out Katz's column in the Review Journal. It's called Cats. Cats. And he'll be back next Wednesday. Stay with us.